microincisional surgery of subluxated lenses with the modified capsular tension ring. Zonulolysis can be secondary to the trauma or associated with a systemic disease such as Marfan or Weill Marchesani syndromes, homocystinuria, and some others. Different surgical alternatives can be used in the moderate to severe zonular dialysis. The surgeon can use iris hooks to temporarily support the capsular back. Relatively small zonular defects usually allow for preservation of the capsular bag after implantation of the conventional capsule tension rings. The surgeon can use both rings eyelets for scleral suture fixation. The suture goes out of the capsular bag through the capsular axis opening into the ciliary sulcus. After scleral suturing, the central position of the capsular bag is achieved. Intraocular lens can be implanted into the capsular bag safely. Since the introduction of the modified capsular tension rings by Dr. Sioni, they became increasingly important in the management of profound zonular weakness during cataract extraction. Joined to the ring is a fixation element or hook which extends centrally and designed to be positioned on the surface of the anterior capsular rim. Ahmed capsular tension segment, Asia Ancor, T-shaped hooks combined with the suture, as well as the capsule supporting device designed by Dr. Sergeyenko from Ukraine, has been developed to allow sulcoscleral fixation and to support capsular bag. The main disadvantage of the above-mentioned devices is that they can cause only focal support of the capsule bag and does not totally restore capsule bag equator shape. In the growing field of cataract surgery, it is evident that the trend of microincisional procedures is escalating. Unfortunately, most of the capsule support devices are not designed to be implanted through the sub 2 mm micro incision. Sioni ring can be inserted into the shooter up to the point of the fixation hook, but not further. The Malugin modified Sioni CTR is the newest endocapsular support device developed to address the difficulties of microincisional cataract surgery in patients with the large zonial dialysis or zonular weakness. The fixation element moved to the tip of the device allows its position inside the injector tube. The hook of the modified CTR is directed towards the zonular defect in order to prevent unzipping the residual zonules during the implantation. The hook is used to reposition the fixation element on top of the anterior capsule. Both ends of the Malugin modified Sioni capsule attention ring overlap each other in order to provide additional support to the capsular bag equator. The eyelet of the hook is used to secure the double-armed praline suture, which is then passed through the ciliary sulcus and scleral wall, achieving permanent fixation and stabilization of the capsular bag without violating its integrity. The lens is implanted into the bag. This video shows the cadaver eye with the anterior viewpoint. The ring is positioned in place with the help of the injector to support the capsular bag equator. The crystalline lens is removed. One piece acrylic IOL is easily inserted in the bag with the ring in place. The haptic elements are positioned perpendicularly to the fixation element and the IOL centers well. In this patient, the zonular gap was diagnosed intraoperatively. The suture is secured to the ring eyelet. After anterior capsular axis, the modified CTR is implanted into the bag. The ring reforms the circular contour of the capsular bag equator and the entire capsule is returned to the natural central position. The curved needle is guided into the corneal incision and passed into the ciliary sulcus with the Urban Turner technique. The device is then secured to the scleral wall with the perlin suture in the zigzag fashion. Hydrodissection is being performed in order to separate the lens material from the capsule. The standard chopping or any other phaco emulsification technique is used 
depending on the lens nucleus hardness. The ring provides support to the capsular bag. At the same time, it makes the removal of the cortical material from the capsule bag more difficult. Insertion of the foldable IOL is easily performed with the device in place. The typical T-drop shape of capsule rexus points toward the location of the sutured scroll. As seen in the following video, CTR is implanted in patients with a traumatic zonular defect and madriasis. The fixation element is rotated towards the area of the zonular weakness with the hook. The ciliary sulcus area is examined with endoscopy. Once the ring was secured to the scleral wall, the procedure became routine. The lens was removed by microcoaxial phaco. IOL is then placed into the capsule bag and the procedure is finished without difficulties. In this patient, the lens was so loose that it had to be stabilized with the hook during the capsular axis. The ring was implanted into the capsular bag prior to performing phaco, stabilizing the lens for emulsification. After removal of the crystalline lens material, the intraocular lens is implanted. The Malugin modified Sioni CTR is the new capsular expansion device designed to be injected through the micro incision and to center the sublux capsule by securing it to the scleral wall. We have shown that modified CTR allows the loose eccentric capsules to be recentered and secured, achieving safe endocapsular implantation and long term stability of the capsular bag. Thank you for your attention.